in this video I'll show you my kombucha setup. Here is the box I got today for additional six bottles, 18 ounces. That's what they look like. Just like described. And here is my setup. Here is my bottles with kombucha. Second fermentation. So basically, I'll tell, I'll tell you in a minute. And here is two Bangalan brewing kombuchas. Also, I use this kitchen funnel with little screen, stainless steel. And uh, today I got six additional bottles and this heating mat for gardening or something to sprout seeds or something. Let's unwrap it and see what it looks like. Supposedly big enough to be a base for my bottles and those jars. The reason I got this heating mat because uh, kombucha is brewing, a little bit too slow for my taste. It takes more than one week to convert one cup of sugar into proper pH. I use this pH meter and I wait till kombucha turns into 3.4 3.4 then I bottle it for second fermentation I think this kicking mat will keep it brewing faster Maybe I need to plug it in so it soften up and unroll easier. And I will also buy a tile, ceramic tile, one foot by two foot size to cover it. Let me plug it in. Let's wait. Here is the ceramic tile that I'm gonna use over this heat map mat. It's warm now. Fits pretty well will be under I have this little four legs from another application I'm gonna use them on the other side Let's test it. I don't want to wiggle. The 
this little bit of wiggling because of this bump. again little bit of wiggling but not big deal all right it's going under all the bottles and two one gallon jars okay I'll let my let my heat mat now I can cover with the tile decide to add foil maybe two layers so there is two layers of foil then the mat and prevent the digging I made a foil ball and I put under one leg that wiggles right there is no more wiggling I'm happy with this setup. Let's arrange everything. There it is. Jars, bottles, heat mat under the tile. And I'm left with this pouch from heat mat, plastic bag. If you want uh, a list of things that I use, check out the description. This is little grow from second fermentation. It makes it really fuzzy, 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 fizzy. Then you put it in the fridge. There's another tip. Get some rubber bands. To avoid bottles from clinking, just wear some rubber bands in them, like this. Alright, and there you go, bumping without clinking. Last tip.